Take their number. It's 800-918-6200. 800-918-6200. Or just go to IntelliLoan.com. IntelliLoan. Sorry, smart. Southland weather from KFI, mostly sunny and much warmer today with highs in the low 80s inland and along the coast, near 70 in the high desert, upper 50s in the mountains. Right now it's 63 in Fullerton, 52 in San Juan Capistrano, 59 in Studio City, 51 in Lomita. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Layla Mohammed. Two of you, someone. Okay. 
So if she's had bad people in her life, it's because she's chose to. And if you've had bad people in your life, it's because you've chose Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Yeah. So and this one's working out really nice, and that's why, you know, but I've still got that. Little that gun shy? Well, I just think that issue of, of faith is still uh, kind of bothers me a little bit. But you stick around. You waste her time and yours. Six yeah. years of it so far. <laughs> exactly. But I, 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 again, I, I just don't want to give this up. It's just too good. Okay, so I mean, it's it's, it's really a, a a tiny verse. Mm -hmm. uh, do not be bound together with unbelievers. For what partnership have righteousness and lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? Or what harmony has Christ with Baal? Or what has the believer in common with an unbeliever? So really. The verses that talk about this, and, and often it can be misconstrued, but really the concept of being equally yoked is being bound to a, an oxen of same strength and purpose and focus. Because if you have two oxen and uh, one is smaller, then you can't plow straight. One's either going to be weaker and pull it down, um, or if they are both strong and wanting to go in different directions, they're going to be pulling the plow in different directions. That's that's the visual. And the okay. difficulty there is you imagine trying to build a house with another carpenter and you believe in using a ruler and they believe in organic measurement. Uh, well, I like to guess and just eyeball it. That seems like, well... Usually the person with the ruler starts making the excuses, well, I'll just double check their work and I'll go over there. It just, it ends up not working in many, many ways. It's not impossible. I don't like when people say it's impossible. It can be difficult and in, in relationships that usually are selfish to begin with, a lot of people go into relationships thinking, I just want somebody to be able to cheer for me or watch me do what I do and to eat the things I like to eat and go to places I like to eat with me. And that's not really a relationship. Uh, so, in this case, they, they, they can be quite difficult. You have to remove a lot of uh, selflessness, which is what you should be doing in any relationship. But now you're yielding not only to your partner, you're w yielding to a whole different mindset. So you may say, well, I would do anything for her. But then when she wants to do something that it comes from whatever her faith is or lack thereof, now you're going, oh, well, I can't participate in that because that's not my faith. Right. Is the it's a, it's a thought that uh, over a lifetime that somebody may come into my faith, faith is that a pretty poor uh, uh, excuse? Well, you may go into hers. <laughs> but that Jesus, I promise it will never happen. But okay, well, I'm just saying. That I can tell you. <laughs> well, that, then, then why risk it? Here's the thing. I, I get love. It's a beautiful thing. I get connection and, and kinetic response and sparks that happen. I get uh, chemistry. All of that. I created it. It has a wonderful place. Uh, I just think people make excuses to do the wrong thing so much because sometimes it's easier or convenient because it's right now. And that's not to say that you guys don't have something wonderful, but if you really honestly go into it, sitting down and talking it out, how are we going to raise the kids? Your faith or mine? Um, uh, when we come to a life problem that deals with X, Y, and Z, Oh, I had somebody call the, the program not too long ago stating that uh, married uh, to you know his wife and they have different views and that they've always gotten along and it's always worked out well. They've got four kids uh, or three kids and we're having a fourth and she was done. She didn't want kids anymore and she wanted to get an abortion which is a to totally against, he never saw it coming, it wasn't something that had come up um, it wasn't against her worldview, but it was against his. And quite frankly, he called from California. It's not in his favor. It's his business, but not really. So legally, it was on in her 
uh, situation was she had the ability to make the decision, and that's not something somebody might think about down the line. And these are the types of things you, you need to ask Jeff and really make sure that it's that it's what you want because these things will arise and you may see, find yourself in a situation and you have to go into that going, okay, as long as you know, okay, this may happen and that's what we see the way it goes down and you may have to go with the flow, not her. You are listening to the Jewish Pregnant. To ask your question, why would a plumber just tell me what it costs to unclog my drain over the phone? Is it that complicated? No, it's not. It makes no sense at all. They obviously have a price. Whoa, you've got a nice aroma. Who are you? Mike Diamond, the smuggler plumber. Will you tell me how much sun shot my drain? $99. But you haven't seen it. Don't need to. Doesn't matter if it's a kitchen sink or a mainline sewer stoppage. The Smell Good Plumbers at Mike Diamond will unclog almost any drain for $99. Almost? Yeah. There are a few exceptions, but you can read all about them on our website before you call. Just go to thesmellgoodplumber.com. Wow, you're like up front and everything. I just called a guy named Bubba who wouldn't tell me anything. No Bubba's here, ma'am. Just professional plumbers who show up on time, smell good, and unclog drains for $99. Call us. 1-800-446-MIKE. Contact your license number 399 This report is sponsored by Five Below. This year with Child in Need. Not checking out at Five Below, in store, or online, please consider donating to Toy for Talk this holiday season. We can make a huge difference with Child's holiday in your community. Donate today. Five Below. Just go. The weather is chilly, but it's not officially fall until you button up a soft and cozy flannel from Untuck It. They're perfect for keeping warm and in style this season, Untuck It shirts are designed to be worn on top so you'll look sharp and stay comfortable all day long. The wrinkle-free and performance shirts are great for work and the weekend. Just layer a super soft sweater on top for more dress suffocation. So update your closet this fall, Untuckit.com or 80 plus stores. Use code COZY for 20% off your first order. Untuck It shirts, designed to be worn on top. Hey parents, here's some good news for America's future. Kids ages 5 to 11 are now eligible for a COVID vaccine. That means all those future CEOs and artists, all class chefs and school stars, the engineers and the innovators, are eligible for a vaccine that can help protect their future. And it's specifically formulated just for them.